Hello and thanks for staying with us on TVC's World Now. Today's World Teachers Day, they set aside to celebrate teachers and their significant contributions to societal development. Held on the 5th of October every year, it is to celebrate te how teachers are transforming education, but also to reflect on the support they need to fully deploy their talent and vocation. It commemorates the anniversary of the adoption of the 1966 ILO UNESCO recommendation concern, concerning the status of teachers, which sets benchmark regarding the rights and responsibilities of teachers. The World Teachers Day is co-convened in partnership with the International Labour Organization, UNICEF and Education International. Well, I have joining me from our Abuja studio to speak on the commemoration of this day, President Nigeria Union of Teachers, Audu Amba. It's good to have you join us on the world now. Thank you. And, and can I say happy World Teachers Day? So, uh, thank you. Um, um, so help us understand this year's theme on the need to reverse teachers shortage with relation to the situation we have here in Nigeria. Yes. This very topic is very apt. You could bear with me that uh, as we speak today, we have acute shortage of teachers cut across our primary and secondary school within the country. So the, the topic of this year, World Teachers Day, is very, very apt, and in particular, as it affects Nigeria. Let me also use this medium to first and foremost congratulate the entire teachers of Nigeria for yet again uh, commemorating their day, our day, uh, this day is set aside by UNESCO uh, all over the world to celebrate our day and to discuss and bring to fore some of the issues that are confronting uh, teachers all over the world. As I said earlier, uh, this very topic or theme of this year, which says teachers, we, the teachers we need for the education we want, the global imperative to reverse the shortage of teachers, is apt as it affects Nigeria. Not only having the teachers, having qualified and well-trained teachers. We are going with the global best practice. You could bear with me that education has gone beyond what every one of us is thinking. The education has, has gone scientific. Uh, so teachers that we need to, uh, to, to have in our classroom need to also be well-trained and well-qualified to be able to teach in our school. A very apt uh, submissions there, uh, particularly when you take a look at the budgetary allocation that has been given to education here in Nigeria. And I know that you've been at the forefront advocating for increased uh, budgetary allocation, particularly for education, and also a review of teachers' salary and welfare. Now, I know that your profession is a noble one, and but less and less we've seen teachers being uh, less appreciated. What would you want the federal government to do as it commemorates this year's World Teachers Day? Yes, thank you very much for even speaking for us. Yeah, we are all Nigerians and we know the situation that we find ourselves, more especially as teachers in the public primary school and secondary school in this country. These are the struggle that we've been struggling from decades to be able to maybe uh, talk to government so that they could see primary education and secondary education as a priority. Priority in the sense that in terms of funding, funding uh, by, by government is below what we are expect, expecting. And that is the, the, the benchmark, international benchmark, which said at least 4 to 6 percent of the GDP and at least 15 to 20 percent of the national budget of the country should be allocated to education and funding of education. But here we are today, we are yet to get there, and always, as usual, we do appeal to government that any government that failed to take proper care of its own foundation, which is the basic education and secondary school, that government really, really need to go back to the drawing board and look at it very, very well. Because it is the foundation of all, or the system itself. When you get it right at the primary level, you will be able to get it right at the secondary school level and in the tertiary institution. So the primary thing is to get it right at the grassroots, which is the basic education uh, system uh, we, we have in the country. We have been agitating, we have been talking to government, we have been appealing to government that government should look inwardly and turn its face to 
uh, additional funding of education. Teachers' welfare, in my speech this afternoon in this Google Square, I emphasize on teachers' welfare. Teachers should be well taken care of in times of remuneration, in times of even place of work. On what condition do we, do we teach in our schools? Are these conditions palatable? Are these conditions okay for us? It will interest all of us to know that if you go to some schools, some rural areas, rural schools that are in our community, you'll find out that even the teacher himself uh, uh, find it difficult to even have a seat that he will sit down, not to talk of even uh, some of the teaching materials that he needs. So these are some of the things that we have been appealing and agitating and talking to government so that they can look inwardly. Uh, the immediate past administration in 2020 did approve some incentive for, for our teachers in the basic and secondary school uh, in, in the country. Retirement age for, for teachers was moved from uh, 60 to 65 by age and 35 to 40 by service. And there were a lot of incentive that were attached to special salary structure for teachers, Teachers will be, uh, uh, local houses will be built for teachers in our rural areas. And uh, students that are uh, intending to, to study education, to become teachers, will be given bursary allowance and so on and so forth. But, so but have, we seen, have we seen but those promises? You, as we speak. Have we seen those promises yes. become reality? They are yet to become reality. That's where we are heading to. The only thing that I can be able to say that, uh, I said it in my speech, I said, uh, it's about 14 to 15 states so far that have implemented the even retirement age that is uh, backed by even an act uh, of parliament and signed into law by government uh, of the middle past government. Gov state governors, some of the state governors are yet to even implement the retirement age. Not to talk of the lot of incentive uh, that is attached to mm -hmm. it. So these are some of the things that we are talking. The government mm -hmm. need to look inwardly and see how best it could add funding to mm. the basic and secondary school education that we have in this country. If we don't do that, then we will be having we will be having a lot of problems. Any country that thinks education is expensive, let that country think uh, use ignorance. You will get uh, the result of neglecting the, the sector itself. So these are some of the issues that we have been agitating for. You know, just hearing you speak, you know, it takes my mind back to my secondary school and primary school teachers that has helped me become who I am today. Thank you so much, President Nigeria Union of Teachers, Aldo Amba, for speaking to us on the World Teachers Day. Thank you. You're welcome.